the camera on. I think, you know, one of the things I uh, see if, the, if it's if like doing counselling beliefs and the observer or feel the feelings starts to feel monotonous or, or I would say like if something feels monotonous I, I would say that's resistance yeah I mean if, if I'm like counselling beliefs or putting something in or feeling the feelings um, yes there, there's one aspect you know I think it's good to vary it and change it slightly so if you're like if I'm cancelling my belief in gout and it feels like that's, you know, I've done that for so long, then I might cancel my belief in uric acid, which is like associated with gout. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. But also, like the cancelling beliefs and the observer and the field of feelings, when resistance comes up to something, it's like you can use all of those on the resistance. Yeah, I would use it resistance because it's like it's like the ego is now gaining grounds to try and stop regular practice. Mm. You know, mm. that for me mm. is actually like it will say things like mm. it's monotonous. I'm not going to say the same thing again. Put yeah. this into God's infinite light and love. Oh, this is too boring. I've got like a busy day and I've mm. done it for long enough. I should stop now. So all of these things, I wouldn't really call it, or it might call it boredom, or it might call it monotonous, or I can't say this again because I've said it to I'm blue in the face. But that, that for me is not, that is a red herring for resistance because the ego doesn't like, like a daily bashing. It doesn't like a, day, it doesn't like a daily bashing. And it will come up like, you know, let's change it to something totally different. Maybe I should listen to music that, for a few weeks and, and mix it up. But, you know, listening to pop music and doing The Course of Miracles is very different. You know, one is like bashing your ego intensely every day, and the other is more like a relaxing relaxation for your ego. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing things which are really uh, high leverage, spiritual things like cancelling beliefs, Course in Miracles, um, feeling the feelings of the observer, it's natural. Uh, like with The Course in Miracles, like I've spoken, most people here have spoken, like most people start the Course in Miracle lessons and stop within a few days. Mm. That's like so normal. Mm. You know, if you said to someone, have a donut every day, they, would, they probably wouldn't be, they'd go for years. So you tell them to do the Course in Miracles every day, and it's like, you know, everyone says, well, I stopped within three days, and I haven't picked it up, you know. So why, that isn't necessarily boredom and monotony, or it comes up with a thousand excuses. Mm. So I'd call that resistance. So it's like, when there's an intention to be free of all the suffering of the ego, there's, an e there's a very clever mechanism at play to stop that process, especially something that's very uh, high vibration, like A Course in Miracles, because it's aiming at 100% dissolving the ego. So it will have nothing left. So it'll go, it's too boring, it's too monotonous, you've done it for three weeks, you should stop now, EastEnders is on. So all kinds of things <laughs> <laughs> will sort of come on board. And that, that's the thing, the thing to do with that <laughs> is, um, is to um, always, you know, like if you listen to this video, it's like you can use all the tools on the resistance. This is the thing you don't get when you're going into resistance. Like you can use the tools on the thing that's trying to stop you from carrying on. I really recommend continuing the practice, even if you vary it from one thing to another. But if you reduce your practice, yeah, I, I, which is at a high level, then you'll be actually, your rate of progress will go down. Like, you know, like, if I'm doing five minutes of the observer and five minutes of counselling beliefs every day, and then I take it down to one minute, or take it... Also, another thing is, when I stop things, it's very hard to get back in, from my own experience. Mm. Um, so if I, I've been doing The Course of Miracles non-stop for, I don't know, seven, eight, nine, I can't remember how many years now. Um, and I learnt, yes, nine years, I, I remember. Uh, I learnt that what, when I'm doing something which is really difficult, like doing The Course of Miracles every day, or sitting down every morning and, and doing feeling the feelings, I know it's very dangerous to stop it for a period, you know, because I found that the inertia, mm -hmm. once you stop something which is really bashing the ego and you're doing it every day, it's like it's very hard to get back in. Yeah. Uh, mm. So, mm. also you've got to understand when the ego says I want to substitute something, it's probably trying to edge you to something that's less ego bashing. Mm. 
So anything that's very ego bashing, is it will say like, well, let's not do the Course in Miracles, let's listen to something a little bit watered down, you know, and then after a few weeks of the watered down, it's something even more watered down, you know, <laughs> and going, yeah, this changing to something different is a really good idea, mm -hmm. and let's change to something even more fun. So, so, no, what do I mean? So, like, if monotony comes in, like, well, monotony, I cancel my belief that daily practice is monotonous. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. I cancel my belief, you know, it can come up with thoughts like it's not working. Oh, I don't think it's working any longer. I've done it for like two weeks. So, I think it's not working, so I should stop. Well, I cancel my belief it's not working. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. Um, or another thing can be with a block is pray to the Holy Spirit mm. to reveal what is the resistance that is stopping me from... Now, I'm, I'm more for persisting with it, because that's my view. It's like, it's an ego resistance to trying to stop very high leveled spiritual work and dumb it down. So that's just my take, but you don't have to, you never have to follow anything I say if you want to stop practice or change it. But I think variants, my whole thing was, um, you know, I'd start off with the Course in Miracles like every hour, and then after a period of time, I'd go down to like every 50 minutes and I had this watch. Now, after a period of time, 40 minutes, because I intuitively knew that if I can increase my spiritual work over time, then I'll be deflating my ego more. If I give my ego more and more time off from spiritual work, I'm actually allowing the ego to gradually, sneakily gain ground and lose stuff. So you've got to be more clever than the ego. It's like, no, not let me stop, but let me work on my resistance. Pray for a miracle, reveal what is the resistance. Cancel my belief it's not working. I cancel my belief it's monotonous. I cancel my belief it's too boring. I cancel whatever, you know. or or there's this feeling of monotony. It's a terrible feeling of monotony. I can't do it another day. It's just too monotonous. Okay, but that's a thought, you know, and this feeling, where is it? It's like I've got this whole monotony, like a resistance. I've got to stop, you know, I'm fed up of this, you know, I can't do this another day. Well, let go of the, let the story, like get it in connection with that energy. Try and let it go. Just be with the energy of like, I think that can happen, you know, like a huge resistance, like a defiance, like, let's stop, you know, you've done enough of this, or, uh, so I would, uh, I would, you know, pray for a miracle to see it differently, pray for a miracle to see the resistance differently, pray for, you know, all of those things. Uh, my own thing was, what seems like a holiday f for the ego is probably the ego gaining ground, you know, what's, when you do spirit, you know, you'll, look from your own spiritual practice, everyone. Like when you've had regular spiritual practice, how have your days and weeks gone? And when you've stopped your spiritual practice, how have your days and weeks gone? Um, in terms of effortless stuff, I think The Course of Miracles is very good. It's like when you get into a rhythm of doing something on a regular basis, then it's like it's self-sustaining, it becomes effortlessly flow. I don't know if that makes sense. It's like, I'm just used to picking up my Course in Miracles and doing a lesson every day. Mm -hmm. There's no resistance. But yes, I'm sure there was times when I've had resistance and I've had to push through those resistances. So you've got to be um, sort of clever in finding out what the resistance is and, and persisting. Um, I'm not saying that you should do this, but I'm saying I sort of see the ego trying to stop doing something very difficult and ego deflating as being very natural uh, and, want to, and wanting to shift down to do something less spiritual because he doesn't want to lose ground to, to spirit. Thank you.